Hey guys, this is Toby from Game PC Deals and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure the best and fastest gaming PC with a budget of about $2,000. This build does not include any peripherals, no keyboards, no mouse, no monitors or any other stuff. This is just a PC. And of course, as always, I was making sure to get the most value for the money that we spend. So each and every hardware part fits perfectly together so that we don't waste any money on things that we don't really need. And this channel is not sponsored by any anybody and neither is this video so I'm completely free of bias and I can really recommend what I think is the best hardware that you can buy. And so with this exact build I can guarantee you that you can expect to get a lot of value for your money. But now let's not waste any more time and let's dive directly into the parts for our $2000 gaming PC build. First, in my opinion, the best processor you can currently buy is the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. This processor is great because it offers so much value for money. It has 12 cores with 24 threads and up to 4.6 GHz, which is just insane for about $400. I bought this processor myself for about $500 when I already thought this was a great deal. But over the last couple months, the price was reduced to as low as $413 on Amazon. And in my opinion, that's just really insane and an absolutely amazing deal. So in this build I definitely recommend this processor. However, it's not only the price performance that makes the CPU great. We also get a stock cooler that is really solid and sufficient for all games. So with this CPU we will almost never be bottlenecked by the processing power no matter which graphics card we buy. And therefore again I highly recommend this processor for our $2000 gaming PC build. When it comes to the graphics card, we all know that this part is really the heart and soul of any gaming PC and therefore I recommend spending as much money as possible on it. And I think the best graphics card to do that on is the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. This is simply spoken the best graphics card available on the consumer market right now. And I recommend specifically the Asus ROG Stix CO version because it has a very solid price performance but it's also one that has a very good custom board that doesn't run too hot which helps us with lifetime expectancy and additional performance gains. It costs swooping $1,300 but it is extremely powerful and it can play all games with very high frames per second. Now that we have such an amazing graphics card and processor, we need the RAM to support those and I recommend two 16GB RAM blocks with 3200MHz from Corsair. This RAM is powerful enough to support all the other hardware parts up to their ratings which means up to whatever the manufacturer declares as highest memory frequency supported. For the motherboard we want something that's cheap that still supports all the parts to the fullest. And here I recommend the MSI B450M Pro VDH Max. I personally think that this motherboard has generally the best price performance out of all the motherboards in almost all price segments. So for me this is a stable recommendation. It supports the 3rd gen Ryzen's and it will also support 4th gen Ryzen's in the future just in case you want to upgrade. It also supports all the frequencies that we need and it has all the connectors that we need. And of course, the most important thing, it's super cheap. For the memory, I recommend the PNY CS900 SSD with 960GB. Game performance is almost never influenced by memory, therefore we go very cheap here. Of course, we still want an SSD here because HDDs are simply too slow and we don't want to compromise speed too much. And with 1TB of storage, we have enough space for many games, even the largest one. However, in case 1TB of storage is still not enough for you, you can easily add some larger and cheap HDDs later. For the power supply, I recommend the FCA 700 GD. It provides 700 watts of continuous power, which is exactly what we need for the parts in this gaming PC. It is also gold certified, which makes it very efficient, which will reduce your electric bill and it will earn you some money in the long run. Overall, it's a very solid power supply with single rail, stable DC-DC converter and a very quiet fan for near silent operation. It has also very good heavy duty protection which is important in high performance gaming PCs because what you don't want is a power supply that goes up in flames and destroys all the other parts too. And yes, that happens quite a lot. When it comes to the case, I recommend the NZXT H510 because it uses a strong F120 fan and has a cooling system in the front at the top and the rear. It has generally a very good airflow system which is good for the longevity and the performance of our hardware parts. It also has tempered glass which makes it look amazing and it has an excellent cable management system. It also has enough space for our motherboard and all the parts of our $2000 gaming PC build and of course it's very cheap and has a very good price performance. 
So these seven parts are the ones I recommend in this price segment. Unfortunately, the price of everything combined together is about $2,200 right now. But I didn't want to compromise just for the sake of hitting exactly the $2,000 price mark because nothing that you can build for exactly $2,000 right now is really price efficient. However, if you don't want to spend $2,200 on a gaming PC, but you still want a build with great value for money, I would recommend a slightly cheaper version where you replace the 2080 Ti with a 2080 Super. In this case, you would save about $580 on the graphics card, but you would only give up about 30% of the GPU performance. And of course, if you downgrade your graphics card, you would then also be able to downgrade your power supply to an FK600 GD, which would save you another $20. And then you would also end up with a very price performant build that only cost $1,600. If I had to choose one build of those two, I personally would prefer the $1,600 build because it has just a better price performance ratio. But if you really want the best of the best, I think this $2,200 gaming PC build is just one of the best you can assemble today. You can find the links to all the components in the description below. And by the way, all my recommendations will change over time. And for that, I created a website that I will update regularly. So if you watch this video a few months from now, you can easily go there and you will always find the best builds with the guaranteed best value for money. And of course, before you leave, if you liked the video, I would love if you would give it a thumbs up. Thank you for that and I wish you a happy building.